Episode 14, Managing Time. Welcome to the Be Your Own Boss podcast, the young entrepreneur's guide to starting a business. Whether you're thinking about business for the first time or you have an idea that you want to develop, then this is the podcast for you. I'm Mary, and I'll be guiding you through this 15-part series that will keep you on track and help you think through the challenges that come with starting a business. Part of the Welsh Government's Business Wales service, Big Ideas Wales raises aspirations and supports young entrepreneurs' ambitions for business. Part funded by the European Regional Development Fund, Big Ideas Wales supports young people through online resources, business skills workshops and one-to-one sessions with an advisor to help your ideas become a reality. To get in touch with us, you can like and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Message us and one of the team will get back to you. Call us via the helpline on 03000 60 3000. Live chat on the Business Wales website. Or you can email us bigideas at gov.wales. Welcome to episode 14 of the Be Your Own Boss podcast. Last time we talked about the law, tax and insurance, which are an essential part to any business, even if they're not the most exciting topics. This time I'm going to be talking about managing your time, which is something everyone needs to be able to do. When you're running your own business, it can take up a lot of your time, so managing it effectively is important. When you're starting up a business, it can feel like there aren't enough hours in the day, and if you're doing it alongside another job or studies, you might find yourself feeling overloaded. If you want to avoid feeling overwhelmed by it all, then you will need to learn to manage your time. It's important to remember that your time comes under one of the business costs, and as we discussed in previous episodes, always log your time. You have to sufficiently reward your own efforts. You don't want to lose enthusiasm for your business. If something takes up a lot of your time, make it worth it. One of the biggest pitfalls is spending too much time on something that turns out to be of limited value, which is why you should always test your ideas. Don't wait too long to get feedback on plans, products or marketing as you run the risk of spending time on something you need to change, and this could have been avoided. It could take you a while to get back to where you need to be. It's time for our 12 handy tips on time saving. 1. Do one thing at a time. It's been proven that it's more productive to focus on one task at a time rather than multitasking, otherwise it all becomes too much. 2. Prioritise your tasks. Set deadlines and time limits for each job, in both your studies and your main job too. If you're juggling your business alongside something else, then this point is particularly important. 3. Reduce interruptions. Don't let distractions like social media constantly break your focus. If something needs doing, get it done and don't put it off. 4. Set step-by-step goals. Break your jobs up into manageable tasks. This makes things seem more achievable and you don't get put off by tasks that seem too big to handle. 5. Play to your strengths. Do the most difficult tasks when you're at your best. So if you struggle with maths, the best time to do your books is not when you're tired. It's best to look at difficult tasks with a fresh pair of eyes. 6. Get organised. This can be applied to all of the other handy tips I'm giving you, so this must be important. Don't waste time searching for things. Stay organised from the start with filing and paperwork. If you do this at the beginning, it won't seem alien. And remember, your time is valuable. 7. Write daily to-do lists. This is a great way to keep you on track, and I don't know about you, but I find it very satisfying to draw a line through a task once it's completed. 8. Question what you're doing. Are you wasting your time on things that won't increase your chances of success? If you find the answer is yes, then move on. However, if you find the answer is, I just don't like doing this, then you still need to keep going. It still needs to be done. Nine, take a break. From time to time, it's good to take time to clear your head, think about something else and take a step back for a much needed tea break. Ten, know when to move on. 
Perfectionism can cause stress and add pressure on you that really doesn't need to be there, and this can slow you down. 11. Networking. This is a great way to make valuable connections and meet both potential customers and partners. This is also an opportunity to learn from others and build your skills, so make sure you schedule time to meet like-minded people. 12. Don't procrastinate. I know it can be tempting to check social media channels, text your friends and check out a video on YouTube, but stop yourself. Look at your task and just do it. Let's talk about managing your work-life balance. When you run your own business, then you're at a real advantage when it comes to managing this. You have the ability to create your own schedule that works for you and your family. However, there is a reality to this. Many people find it difficult to resist spending every waking moment on their business, especially in the early days. I know it's easily done. After all, if you don't do it, who will? And if you work and live at home, then there's no real cut-off point. But you have to make time for your work life and your home life. You have to find the balance. If you work and live at home, then you could try changing into work clothes when you're working and changing into casual clothes when you're not. This way you're separating the two and creating a feeling of work and comfort. You could even try driving around the block to create the sense of driving to work, which is your thinking and cut-off time. The one thing you don't want to do is burn yourself out, leaving you with no time for your business, let alone your personal life. Now you might be thinking, how do I avoid burning out? There are four things you can do to prevent burning out, and they are. Make sure you get enough sleep. Know when to say enough is enough for one day. It'll still be there in the morning. Get some regular exercise and eat a balanced diet. This isn't everyone's thing, but it does make you feel so much better in yourself. Don't neglect your friends and family. Make time for everyone. Work will still be there later. Take regular breaks from day-to-day details so you can think about the bigger picture. Take a step back and look at how far you've come already and where you want to be. I hope this has helped you with some ideas on how to manage your time and focus on the business, but make sure you take time to be with your family and friends. Remember, the work will be there in the morning. It doesn't need to be all you think about 24 hours a day. I'm sad to tell you all that we're nearing the end of the Be Your Own Boss podcast. On the next episode, I'll be talking about growing your business. So don't forget to join me for the final episode. If you have any other question, you can always get in touch. To get in touch with us, you can like and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Message us and one of the team will get back to you. Call us via the helpline on 03000 60 3000. Live chat on the Business Wales website or send us an email bigideas at gov.wales. I'll speak to you all again very soon.